now I am going to derive the velocity formula for the uh, that is pitot tube. Okay, pitot pitot tube. We have already derived the discharge formula, discharge formula of venturi meter as well as orifice meter. In pitot tube, it is used to measure velocity. Remember, it is used to measure velocity. Okay, measure velocity, not discharge. That is, orifice meter and venturi meter are used to measure the discharge, whereas pitot tube is used to measure velocity. Velocity of the fluid flowing in the pipe or in open channel. Okay, so it is simple. A tube bend at 90 degree, having two ends open to the atmosphere. Okay, that is 90 degree. This is U tube manometer. That is simply U tube. Okay, and bent at 90 degree, both are open. Okay, one is atmosphere one is left on the atmosphere another end uh, is immersed in the fluid flowing okay so it is used in pipe flow pipe flow or open channel open channel means river okay there also we can measure the velocity of the fluid flowing in the river or pipe flow now let us find out what is the velocity equation how to measure the velocity by the help of pitot tube Okay, so Okay, fluid is starting from here. This is called H stack. Okay, stagnation head. And this is called stagnation head is higher than the static head. So it is like this. Now, suppose this is at point condition 1 and this is point 2. Okay. So, at entry, at entry condition, that is at 1, 1. Okay. Another, at a stagnation point, a stagnation point, that is at section 2, 2. Okay, here stagnation means, see, stagnation means, stagnation is fluid is brought at rest, fluid is, fluid is brought to rest, brought to rest, that means V2 is equal to 0, that point stag means stopping, that point is called stagnation, so fluid is here uh, brought to rest, so, level in the fluid, level of the fluid in the pipe will go up. So, if this H stag is always greater than H stag. Okay. Now, applying this condition for the Bernoulli equation, applying Bernoulli equation at section 11, section 11 and 22. Okay. Then what will happen? See here, P1 by gamma. P1 by gamma plus P1 by gamma plus V1 square by 2G plus Z1 is equal to P2 by gamma plus V2 square by 2G plus Z2 plus losses. Okay. Losses here we are ignoring that is 0. Okay. Now, since the fluid is uh, flowing, pipe is horizontal. Pipe is horizontal. So, it is Z1 is equal to Z2. Okay, so Z1, Z2 will be cancelled out. Now, 
see here v2 is brought to rest so it is simply it is simply zero and p2 p2 by gamma is nothing but h stack okay so p1 by gamma is your h stack okay and this v1 here v1 can be used as a v okay so this v square by 2g will be equal to see this one h stack minus h stack okay h stack or we can call it as simply h also so v will be equal to 2g we can call it as h stack minus h stack root under okay remember this velocity is theoretical actual velocity will be v actual will be in a similar way cb coefficient of velocity into root under 2g h stack h stack minus h stack okay that is the equation to find out the actual velocity through the pit or tube here also this this cb is a constant that will be v actual by v theoretical okay so this one was the theoretical velocity actual velocity will be cb into actual velocity will be cb into v theoretical so this one so here cb will be near about 0.9521 okay so this value is also great and it is used in pipe flow as well as open channel flow one end is immersed into the fluid in which it is flowing and another end is left to atmosphere and the pipe is very simple it is bent at 90 degree to each other and uh, application of that uh, pitot tube is measure the velocity okay so let us sum up what we have studied in this session now see here pitot tube is used to measure velocity it is a simple u tube bend at 90 degree to the uh, one another it has two end one end is left to atmosphere and one end is immersed into the fluid it is used in pipe flow or open channel flow okay so here this here a pitot tube is used two pitot tubes are being used one is point where fluid is brought to the rest that is called stagnation head or a stagnation point fluid is brought to the rest that is v2 is equal to 0 so entry condition let us call it as 1 1 1 and exit condition that is stagnation condition that is 2 2 applying bernoulli equation at section 1 1 and 2 2 so p1 by gamma plus v1 squared by 2 uh, by 2g plus z1 will be equal to p2 by gamma plus v2 squared by 2g plus z2 plus hl since losses has been ignored here and pipe is horizontal so z1 will be equal to z2 p2 by gamma c p2 by gamma that will pressure so it is stagnation head h stag okay and v2 is zero because fluid is brought to the rest so now equation p1 by gamma is nothing but static head so p1 by gamma is h stag and v1 is nothing but simply one v is there so we can assume v only so v square by 2g will be equal to h stag minus h stag okay so v theoretical will be 2g in, into h stag minus h stag but remember this equation gives you the theoretical velocity only actual velocity will be <coughs> given by introducing a coefficient that is called coefficient of velocity cb which is defined as v actual by v theoretical so v actual will be always less than the v theoretical so v actual will be cb into v theoretical value of cb will vary 0.952 one okay so by that way we can apply this equation and find out the velocity by this way we have completed your application of bernoulli equation in uh, three condition one one uh, first one was venturi meter another one was orifice meter both were used to measure the discharge third one is uh, pitot tube that is used to measure velocity of the fluid flowing in the pipe or open channel okay 
सो रेस्ट ऑफ द थिंग आई विल डिस्कस इन नेक्स्ट क्लास थैंक यू